certainly, I, I can't say how appreciative and thankful we are that we've been reelected to what will be a fifth term. Uh, and I cannot begin to describe the excitement of serving uh, with President Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what this means for our country and what it means for Mississippi, you know, I, I represent about 750,000 people in Mississippi, but I'm also an ambassador for the state of Mississippi. And we're blessed to have an incredible team, uh, and it really begins with our governor, Phil Bryant, who has just been so much involved on promoting our state and selling it. I see Glenn McCullough's here with MDA. Uh, I mean, the team does a tremendous job of, of showing how our state is the best place to do business, the best place to live. And instead of focusing on things that might divide us on occasion, I like the focus being where they put it, on the things that we've accomplished, the great things going on in Mississippi, the great success stories. And we want our state to be the place where when young people go off to college, whether they go in state or out of state, they know their future is back here at home when they finish that and they come back here. Look, what Trump means uh, to be president is it's just so hard to describe right now. And I know what it means. I know what the governor will discuss it too, but what it means for the unborn child, what it means for us to again be respected and perhaps more than respected by our enemies that are out there around the world. And to see Benjamin Netanyahu's statement uh, yesterday that Donald Trump was a real friend of Israel, I think speaks volumes to where we are as we face the challenges we have around the world. So I couldn't uh, be more excited. I know that Paul Ryan uh, will be reelected as the Speaker of the House. I'm, I'm confident after him campaigning the last week with Michael Pence around the country, uh, and also um, his statements today, I think it's pretty obvious that, uh, that, that Paul Ryan is the real deal. He's gonna be there as part of that uh, partnership that'll be there. Uh, we kept the House, minimal losses in the House. They were projecting around 20. It's gonna be single digits, it looks like. Uh, and then we're gonna maintain control of the Senate. Uh, we have the opportunity to fix some of the mismanagement that's been done by the Obama administration these last eight years. And so I'm thankful. So congratulations to President Trump and to all of our Mississippi team that worked so hard. Thank you.